Hi, today we're going to be in Boston. What is this thing? I mean, this is weird. What is it? We're going to be in Boston. The Fidget Wild Blend Premium Spitter Head Spin Design Super Nova Series. Wow, that is a mouthful to say, and yet I already said it. So, made by Fidget Wild, which makes pretty good fidget spinners. I have to say that. Oh, yeah, by the. I, if you watch the other video about the uh, Black Tie one, I accidentally called this one a Zuba one. This one was made by Fidget Wild. Sorry about that. But uh, still a good spinner. So yeah, this one is made by Fidget Wild, the same one that made this little baby right here. So yeah. And you know how proud and excited I am about this one. I'm just so happy. So this is from their press lineup. In this series, there's all different ones. There's like Supernova, Super Vortex. There's all different super ones. So, put this up at Target, $9.99, 10 bucks. Warning, may include extreme spinning. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. So, as you can see in their um, Supernova series, and this one's called the head spin design, so I guess this design is supposed to be a head or something. They have four different spinners in two different colors. So, Phoenix, Raid, Draco, Antares, Soul, Valerius, Castro, and Polutz. 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 I don't know, they have some weird names. Made in China. Quit them all. Go wild for all the style. <laughs> Made by Bullseye Toys. And then down there, www.bullseyetoys.com. Link down below in the description. So yeah, let's open this one up and tail end it. Oh! Well, we don't even need tools. It's just held together at the top by a little staple. That is pretty amazing. That they didn't completely encase by sealing it in like how all the other stuff nowadays. That you need a pair of scissors just to run along the sides and open them. So it's held in place by uh, three staples. So yeah, let's get the staples out where we still can keep the package. And put it in for a little display piece, because I mean it does. Yeah, it doesn't really stand up, but still a nice patch design. And if anyone's wondering what tool this is, it's just a little nail file from a little nail manicure set. You could use a flathead screwdriver, but I found this was a lot better on opening up staples. I mean, if we had a uh, screwdriver, it would get the job done, but you kind of have to have different forehead sizes to get in there and stuff, and this just was beautifully fine on this stuff. There's if you open them up a bit enough in here. So, come on. There we go. Mm. So it comes on this little card. It's kind of holder. Can you have it there and spin it? No. Because I know some people would be like, well, is it a little physics spinner holder? Maybe. But can it spin ones on a holder? No, it can't. So, yeah. Look at it. It looks pretty awesome. Like a little saw blade from a buzz saw. Points of quality. I don't know if it's the best. The little button caps are kind of weird. I mean, you can see why through them. Do they come off? 
Actually, yes, they do. You just unscrew them like you do with any Metal Series one. And the bearing in here is just press on one side. As you can see, the side kind of stops it. So it's just kind of press fit in there. It appears to be a R188 bearing like they use on the metal ones. Instead of going with a uh, 608 bearing that you usually see on all the plastic ones. Which is kind of weird. A plastic spinner using a metal R188 bearing instead of a 608. Yeah. I love how the button caps are kind of these translucent, smoky, black color to them. Oh, I was wrong. I told you that these uh, screw on. They uh, don't screw on. They're just a push and pull. Kind of the same design that you find on most plastic ones. So yeah. But I just think that's kind of a weird idea. Using a metal R1 and 8 bearing in a plastic design that usually uses a sizzle 8 bearing and that they went with the push and pull plastic button cap. But pretty cool. How does it spin? Wow. Really cool. I love that. And let's see if we get to spin the other way. Wow, it spins good in both directions. Usually, some physics experiments they only spin good in one direction versus the other, but this one, wow, lightweight. Do these little fits weight balls in there add any weight to it? I don't really see or feel any weight added to it, but um, the little button caps, I don't know how good you can see it, but they are actually concave in here. Versus other ones, like this one has a slight concave to it. This one is just yeah, straight up flat, so this one's just straight flat. Slight concave in some metal ones. But this one has a very big concave design in there. Which is really awesome. And it sets the spinner up pretty high. I mean like the flat one it sits flat. The metal one sits just a couple of little centimeters off the ground, maybe we we'll wouldn't say half an inch. This one sits maybe half an inch to maybe an inch off of the ground. It's pretty high. So uh, let's spin them. Obviously we know it's going to lose to this one, but why not? Because, you know, R1A bearings, but it's plastic, which has the push and pull button cast, like I said, you always see on the uh, 608 ones. If anything, design-wise, it's just awesome. Awesome and cool. <laughs> and it loses to a 608 push and pull one. And this one, yeah, it's pretty much dead. But then again, you know, it's plastic, not metal. But this has been pretty good. Yeah, I would say they actually found a odd winning combination. A push and pull button caps that you find the plastic ones, but instead of having the CISO 8 bearing in there, just change it over to a R188 R188 metal bearing. When, when I mean metal bearing, I mean the bearings they find the metal fits bearings. Which actually works. Hard to believe, but they actually did it. It's just this. It works. You see it right now. R188 bearing in the plastic that should be you take in a 608 with a push and pull plastic caps instead of a twist and turn metal R1A.
They did it. They came up with the idea. They executed it. They did it. It was this. It's awesome. Love it. Just love it. The little Draco. So yeah, that has been the... If you, like I said, if you want to get this one, which... Is it a good spinner? Yeah. Is it an odd spinner? For every single reason that it's one of the R1 and 8 bearings, there are sets of 8 bearings. It's using push and pull uh, button cast that you usually find a uh, Sizzle 8 plastic one. That, you know, it has a concave button caps instead of like slight concave or just a smooth flat ones. Yeah. Design wise, it's a weird design. And it works. Is this ear to like the UFO one? Kind of. Is it kind of like a coin spin because it's all flat? Kind of, but it's. I'm calling this one like a buzz saw or deserter saw. Because of how it kind of looks like a little saw blade. And then you just put your piece of wood in there and cut the wood when you're building stuff. <laughs> I mean, if anything, it has a cool design. So yeah, hello to Target, 999, 10 bucks. If you don't like it, at least get it for design wise, it's pretty cool. So yeah, that has been the unboxing review of Fidget Wild Premium Spinner Hex Design Supernova Series Red Draco. Remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.